Welcome back to the TCF, everybody, the podcast where sometimes I know what I'm talking about and sometimes I don't. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions on the second round of the NBA playoffs. And um, yeah, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe down below for more um, NFL and NBA content just like this all off season long. And um, let's get right into this video. All right, so let's take a look at my first round predictions. Out of all eight series, I predicted seven right. I got one wrong. I thought the Jazz were going to beat the Mavericks, but the Mavericks won instead. But I thought I did pretty good for the most part. Um, I nailed bit pretty much almost all the picks. And um, now, this, I, I think this is going to be even better. So basically, my finals picks are still alive. Um, I got the Heat versus the Golden State Warriors in the finals. So I think it's going to be a very, very intense, interesting finals. Um, but if you haven't seen my first round predictions, if you think I'm lying or whatever, go follow my TikTok right here. Uh, it's where I predicted basically the whole uh, playoffs in one video. But anyways, first series that I want to get into is the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Boston Celtics. So game one of this series actually already happened. So you know what? Um, I'm not completely cheating on this one but if you see my prediction it will be cheating either way so okay i was working i didn't get to watch game one but i saw a lot of the recap marcus smart he went down two times but that man is just as tough as steel he went he came back up and um exactly what i thought the problem was going to be for the celtics happened in this game Giannis antetokounmpo he had amazing stats assisting um uh, rebounding especially and just scoring the ball he just runs through the paint and just puts the ball in the basket that's literally what Giannis does and he plays amazing defense and he was locking down Robert Williams because look at Robert Williams stat line he wasn't doing anything so I think the Milwaukee Bucks are going to definitely give the Celtics the most like probably one of the biggest hard times that they've ever experienced leading up until this moment this season so it's going to be a very, 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 very close series. And um, I can I can literally coin flip the series, but I'm going to go with my Eastern Conference pick, and I'm going to stick with it, and I'm going to ride it out. I think the Celtics are going to win this series in seven games. Um, I think Brad Stevens is going to make adjustments, and it's going to be very, very hard to stop Jason Taylor. So give me the Celtics in seven games, even though they lost game one. Um, I, and, yeah. Moving on to the other Eastern Conference matchup, the Miami Heat take on the Philadelphia 76ers. And listen, this actually would have been a really good series if, unfortunately, a couple days ago, it was just announced that Joel Embiid is going to be out indefinitely because of his injury. He's not. He's probably not going to come back for the rest of the series. And let's just say the 76ers win the series, he's probably, he, he might just be out like for good for like the playoffs and stuff like that. So you hate to see it, but I think with or without Joel Embiid, the Miami Heat will win the series. So, give me the Miami Heat in, uh, I don't want to say four games. That's a little too harsh. I'm going to say five games. Miami in five. Um, Jimmy Buckets is just going to be giving out buckets, and James Harden is just going to do his just going to do his choking. If, J if James Harden shows up here, like how he does in, uh, like, Houston Rockets James Harden, they're going to get, they're going to get a good series for sure. But, I, unfortunately, I don't think that's the case, and I got the Miami Heat going to the Eastern Conference Finals. All right, now let's move on to the West side. We got the Warriors going up against the Grizzlies. I actually just watched this game, and I recorded myself reacting to the final two minutes of the game, and it was insane because, you know, the game was, you know, very intense and all that kind of stuff, and me reacting to uh, Clay Thompson just absolutely selling. So, um, and I wanted to post that, but then it was just lagging so hard and I had issues but anyways this game this game one was actually very surprising but either way with or without this I think John Moran and the Grizzlies just need to be humbled and I think this Warriors team is the perfect team to humble them uh very very close game one but hey you know if you want to beat the Golden State Warriors in the seven game series you guys need to, to win your home games because whenever you travel down to Oakland it's gonna be very very hard to win there um, I got the Warriors in uh, six games here. I got the Warriors in six, but that's me being generous. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised being if they win in five or four. Actually, it would in four, but I got the Warriors going to these regards finals regardless. I mean, and look at this notification here too. I mean, you guys can't see it, but 
Steph Curry just said, I locked Jaws shit up. You damn right you did. Because that was an amazing defense by Steph Curry. But anyways, let's move on to the final series that I'm going to talk about. The Dallas Mavericks versus the Phoenix Suns. Here's what I got to say about this. The Phoenix Suns, look, um, I already said before the playoffs even started that I had a feeling that you guys were going to be frauds this year. And um, this is where this is where it is. The Dallas Mavericks, I doubted them last series. I'm not going to doubt them again. Luka Doncic, Luka Magic, Jalen Brunson, all these key players. It's going to go down to seven games. But um, the Mavericks are going to pull this one off. And the Mavericks are going to send Chris Paul. Bye-bye. Devin Booker. Bye-bye. Home. Back to Kylie Jenner. To Cancun. And uh, I think I think the Mavericks pull it off. So the Mavericks are going to be versing the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference Finals, according to me. Um, and then the Miami Heat are going to be versing the Celtics in the, in the Eastern Conference Finals, according to me. So, I mean, I really like that. That's a lot of competition, but we're going to see how it ends. But yeah, that's going to be doing it for this video. Stick around for more NBA playoffs videos as well as just um, the NFL draft. Uh, there's going to be a lot of YouTube videos coming out this week with all that kind of stuff, as well as be sure to go follow my TikTok if you really rock with my stuff. Uh, as well as, I mean, it's also a big week for Marvel because Doctor Strange of the Multiverse Mass is coming out and Moon Knight is finishing up. So I definitely got to do YouTube videos on that. But anyways, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.